so hello friends uh, like uh, so now i have installed the react uh, with the uh, bootstrap library you can install uh, from the command like uh, npm install react bootstrap and bootstrap so uh, for time being i have already installed i don't want to waste uh, your time so uh, let's go to the app.js let's see how the react is working or not hello react js let's see if it is working yeah yes now you can see uh, our app is running and up so so let's move to the other so this is the data file uh, in the json format uh, i have created uh, the object and from the object we have become multiple uh, data so here uh, the id title price in company info so multiple uh, fields that we have in this data so what we will do we will create the context file and in the context file we will paste this data so so over here tree i have created the context.js uh, and uh, so let's see uh, let's first paste the data from the file so to we have to import our file uh, so uh, i have the basic uh, boilerplate then here we have to import row row data from app data then we will create product context so do react dot create context so we we already discussed in the introductory part about the react con create contract context then uh, two more provider and the consumer so now we have created this uh, so from this let's put uh, the state so state so we can have all data of data to check this uh, what we will do uh, uh, we will console dot log all data so let's check but to uh, uh, run this component we have to import into the app.js so import context so here context from context now we can find here like this let's see if it is working oh no all data is not defined yeah we what we have did here we have fetching directly but instead of that we have to write this dot state dot all data so now if we go to the, our console we should have data yeah so we have our all data in a console so 
so means we uh, can we have fetched the data from the file so command this one then what we will have to do we will have to go product context and in this context uh, we have to pass the value equal to this dot state and let's get this below this row then here we need to write this dot ops dot children and then so uh, we have to provide this to the all the other component that uh, fetch the data so let's put it this into the index file so that it will be available for all so here product context from context and just we have to pass product context here we have to wrap all these things into the product product con context so now so in the context file we must the provider here context provider and uh, for the time being I'm running here so what we will do uh, to the class we will go to const product consumer product context dot consumer then export so we need to export product 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 provider this one we can use this product provider and product consumer so here we don't have it so we what we are doing here we are passing the all child component the value value so in the value we have fetching the state with the spread operator so we have for the time being we have done with our context js file let's go to the browser let's see if we have an issue or oh, import context does not contain default export okay got it so this error is showing into the index js so in index.js oops we have given the name is like product provider and uh, same thing we need to bring here as well oops product provider and product provider now let's check the result uh, context does not Content the default export. Okay, we have to bind this with curly braces. Now, oh, yeah, so we have the result, and uh, we have done with our uh, 
context in here uh, for the as of now now uh, what we will have to do we have to paste this data uh, into another component uh, that we can say the home component where we have we are going to fetch all this data so uh, so we will create the home component and we will fetch this data which we have fetched from the file and we will show uh, to the browser okay 